Hi, welcome to TheRave.com. I'm Donnie. I'm here with Wayne and Chris of uh, Hatebreed. How are you guys doing? Doing, doing great. Good. Right on. Uh, week three of the tour. Uh, any interesting stories or how's things going so far? I, tour's been great, man. We, we go on second. It's like a vacation for us. You know, we usually headline everything, but yeah, it's been awesome to play like a lot of new fans and our reception's been awesome. Yeah, it's close to like 5,000 fans almost a night, so yeah. it's good. Well, it's got got to be weird too, like to like just sit back and get to drink beer and enjoy the show instead of like having to wait. Well, obviously, you can drink before, but you got to be kind of like you know. Yeah, it's pretty quick. We we get like a forty minute set, so yeah. Like, you guys play over an hour, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight to the point, though. It's, yeah. We just play all the hits, and you know. Yeah. Any any it's new good. material that you guys do, or well, off the self title record? Yeah, yeah, we do a couple songs. We do in ashes and uh, everyone bleeds everyone now. bleeds now. I was gonna say uh, that that album came out in two thousand nine, and you also you guys also did a cover album called For the Lions that came out in two thousand nine too, or uh, yeah, yeah right. two thousand nine. Yeah, probably. Uh, which you guys did those at the same time, kind of like uh, which one was more fun, the all cover record or the all new material? Well, actually, the cover album was started a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, that was that was before that was like pieces. So just a collection of yeah, things then, over the years. Yeah, we started that actually before he got in the bands, and like then he came in like finished it when he got back in the band. Yeah. We, well, after his long leave, long well, leave, long yeah, yeah. <laughs> came back to and came back, uh, finished out yeah. songs and then put it out. Which would be your favorite cover song from the record? I mm. like Ghost of War. Ghost of War. Yeah, that, that's a hit. Um, they're they're all good. I mean, I, I asked you guys your influences, but obviously you did the cover record, so that's, yeah, that's quite a bit right there. Yeah, it's a touch. Yeah. yeah, some of them. Well, you can never get all of them on one album. Right. <laughs> no, you'd need like. 20 albums probably <laughs> yeah uh are you guys any new material in the works while you guys are on tour right now are you guys writing or you got anything like done for the next record or no i i've been writing stuff I, and a couple of these days off i you know went to my hotel room wrote some stuff and i i do it home to you all the time yeah putting stuff together i played it for him yeah jamie and i've been sending stuff back and forth to jamie for a while but we haven't like really set Nothing's like really together yeah so just kind of just yeah ideas around, and right. stuff and yeah, yeah there's plenty of ideas how, how do you guys uh write new material obviously you know each one of your individuals doing your different things do you come together in a rehearsal when like hey i got this idea i got this idea how does a hate break song come together well the last one i was in the studio for and jamie and bd wrote all of the music yeah and he just breaks just like shows me what to play yeah because like i got this riff and then we just kind of record them and put them together we don't even rehearse the whole song oh not at all no right? <laughs> no we in used to studio, like, yeah yeah we used to so back it's, in the it's day. actually born from the studio session yeah. and then because yeah. i came when i rejoined the band it was like all right we got to put this, this this album together so he was like go to the come to the studio all right play this jamie would even hum me some of the riffs and i'd be like like this yeah and then we just put them together record them see how they sound yeah that's it. So actually, after it's recorded, like while you guys are out live, you like go, oh, I wish I would have done this on there, or this, because it's still kind of like a new thing when you guys created it. Or yeah, s sometimes, yeah. like you know, because it's like it's not that it's hurry, but like like when you don't like play them over and over yeah. and have yeah. the full song, you're like, oh, I could have done this there, like you know. But I mean, I'll. But they, I mean, they got changed too, even during the recording. Like it'd be like, now nah, it changed. I would come back the next day. Yeah, listen to pre-production like, oh, yeah. and yeah, 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 let's yeah. Check it out. So we we spent a lot of time. We were in, in the studio for hours. I always like, find that interesting. Days, the like, creative process of each band, like everyone's yeah, different, yeah. you know. But that's really cool. Yeah, like for me, it all starts on like Garage Band. I got like bring as little as possible, and I just hook it up. I got some drum programs right too. Just and, basic drum programs. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I got like uh, Reason, and uh, got a bunch of Hatebreed like drum loops, and yeah, and. Uh, what else do I have? Easy drummer, I got that. Like, yeah. I like to switch it up. And so you kind of technical with all that too. You kind of know. Yeah, 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 I could. I I make drum beats. Yeah, yeah I, I, I like metal ones. It's awesome. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool. So. Uh, you guys always have a brutal show, and obviously this is like your eleventh time playing here now. How do you guys stay in tour shape over the years? It's been quite a few years now. Hey, has been around. I wouldn't say they're the granddaddies now, but you know, you guys have been around for a while. How do you keep that tour shape? And sh you know, it's a brutal show to this keep guy's the energy at the gym every morning. Yeah, I, go so I sometimes I try. I'm like, I don't know, maybe maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of get he's lazy. Like, morning, like oh, I'm, I'm tired. Sleeping, I'm like, yeah, I'm up at like ten or eleven. That's early for a musician guy. on tour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's like. We've been doing the same thing for so long, like just a regimen, kind of. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I got like really serious like, a couple of years ago. You yeah, know, like my twenties, I don't remember how <laughs> shit that, that <laughs> yeah. what happened. You know, like yeah, basic youth shit. You know, yeah. But um, yeah, man, just like get up. It's like part of my day now. You know, yeah, get away from the club and 
I'm sure that feels sure good what, too to like get that stress out and like the the road it's got to kill you sometimes six hours a day driving I'm sure every day yeah. like just the stress yeah. of it all plus your confine you know, yeah the bus and all it's just good go chill relax do my thing everybody yeah. does their thing we'll even sometimes play wiffle ball we'll get games with other bands in the parking lot football yeah, yeah. anything to break it up man yeah so yeah break up the monotony of the so, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's it's cool it's always fun I'm sure the the show but there's so much that goes into each show for you guys and stuff like that's yeah I'm yeah sure you go a little crazy sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, who doesn't? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone's right. yeah got their own, their own thing. Nine to fivers got to do their thing every morning. You guys got your thing you do. It's it's good. It makes it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ryan, is there anything else you want to say to the fans before we go? Uh, just thanks for having us here again. It's our eleventh time. Eleventh time. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be here for the twentieth time too. <laughs> yeah. One day we'll be talking about that. Yeah, decade decade later, I'm sure yeah. we'll still be talking about it. So yeah, man. Well, congrats Hopefully. on all your guys' success. You guys are awesome, and uh, can't wait to watch the show tonight. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Thank you very much. Man. For more information like this, uh, bands, check out Hatebreed. Go to therave.com. Thank you. Good night.